Hey guys, this is William with another video for PlayAgricola.com's YouTube channel and Twitch.tv slash Play underscore Agricola. I'm playing an EIK WM France Deck G456 game with Joshy, Fiskist, and Tet Style. Uh, Take a look at this first pack. Lady of the Manor is quite good. So that might be the pick. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Joshy just opened Ratcatcher. Okay. Not this. Not this game. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> yeah, rat catcher is pretty annoying. Alright. New game. New draft. Okay. New pile. Um, I think Great Speculator is quite good. Organized Handyman is fine. Stone Sculptor is pretty good. Uh, hmm. I like Organized Handyman quite a bit. Uh, I think Great Speculator is, yeah, I don't know, I'm not sure. Like, I think Great Speculator is maybe more replaceable than Organized Handyman, but, and Stone Sculptor kind of depends on what kind of game you want to set up. Like, uh, if you end up using all your stone and not hitting a stone house, then I don't like it as much. Um, or if, like, you play all that stone instead of building the well, for example. Um... We also have, like, what's going to come back here? Ac probably Great Speculator, Organized Handyman, Stone Sculptor, and Cheapskate, I'm guessing, are the four that go. So we might get Acrobat or Drawing Genius back. Acrobat kind of overlaps with Green Speculator, and Drawing Genius kind of overlaps with Organized Handyman. Not that I'm all that excited to play Drawing Genius, even if it comes back. So I think we're going to take Organized Handyman here. I like this card. Okay, well, I think South Pole Explorer is pretty good, especially with a card like Rancher. We've also got Gardener, Tanner. Tanner's not bad if you're eating your bread cattle. Uh, I like Village Head quite a bit. However, with Organized Handyman, I think there's a reasonable chance I play a bunch of cards. So I think we could probably take something like... South Pole Explorer here and hope that Rancher comes back. Yeah, let's try this. We'll see if we can make South Pole Explorer work. And if we have to just end up um, building three stables with South Pole Explorer to get it, like I'm fine with that. Just have to make sure I'm in a position where I can make that work. So focus on three wood and plow in the early game. Ooh. Um, okay, so a couple different ways we could go here. Well builder is quite good. Um, House Steward gets us wood for South Pole Explorer. Um, I think, though, the pick is Master Tanner here. And with Master Tanner now, we have a pretty clear plan. We're going for the cattle, stay on a two-room house, and then Master Tanner build. Organized Handyman helps us play all of our miners. So we're looking at, like, a three-room house.
Yeah, see if we can make this work. Okay, so we're just waiting on Joshy, thinking about the pack that I passed to him. Yeah, I guess that pack was pretty difficult, because there were not really a lot of clear standout cards. So Tetstyle knows about South Pole Explorer. So hopefully Tetstyle does not have a game plan. We'd like to see Tetstyle read Stone Food a couple times because read Stone Food is the one path that really does not help you get South Pole Explorer. We'd be pretty happy with a three wood into plow a field stage one. That would be a totally, totally fine stage one for us. Then three wood again and then South Pole Explorer so that we can build three stables turn three. That'd work pretty well. Um, well, if I'm going to go small house, there are kind of two cards that go with small house here. Nursemaid and Ram Wrangler. I don't think we're going to take peasant. I don't think we're going to build a bunch of majors. I think we're going to focus on a pretty farm. So Nursemaid, if you're staying on a small, small farm, it's kind of obvious that this card is going to get you food and goods. Uh, whereas Ram Wrangler, whenever you breed a sheep, you get a grain afterwards. I think the fact that Nursemaid can get you grain, and it can also get me like boar or whatever for my Master Tanner, or cattle for my Master Tanner, I think we're going to take Nursemaid here. And yeah, the two-room two, two room house looks like a good, good line. I like my four cards. They work pretty nicely together that I've drafted so far. We'll see what miners we get, of course, but... So my one, one Boitageur game that I l was complaining about missing out on my fencing, I ended up losing to the Braggart. And it really sucks because I would have beat the Braggart if I had gotten my uh, my fencing off. Would have been nice to beat Braggart. Hey, Doe Academy. Hope you are doing well today. Uh, ooh... What are we supposed to take here? Cheapskate, Acrobat. If we are if we are doing a small house, then Old Miser has less of a drawback. Although the feeding is generally a lot easier um, on a small family. Uh, gotta see my most recent VOD when you get a chance. Okay, sure, I'll have to check it out. We're just going to take advantage of all his food. <laughs> Alright, see ya, enjoy. Um, do we play Drawing Genius here? We like taking Vegetable when it comes up. We like taking Boar when it comes up. But are we going to have enough clay to build by cooking her at that time? Probably not. I don't think we're taking Drawing Genius. I think we're just taking Acrobat. For some incidental food plus an occasional plow action. And ooh. We could do Rancher, we could do Tanner. So Tanner obviously with Master Tanner, um, and South Pole Explorer should be worth, you know, three points at least. Probably more like four or five points. Alternatively, Rancher is Rancher. 
and is a fantastic payoff for occupying a bunch of spaces on our farmyard early, which we're planning to do with South Pole Explorer, because we're going to do like a field and then like three stables at the bottom here. Hmm. Do I want eight wood or do I want four or five points? That's what it comes down to. Wood is obviously fantastic. I think we're going to gamble that we're going to get enough wood and we're going to pick up Tanner. Now passing Rancher to someone might be really dangerous. It might be really, really, really dangerous, but and we'll take Cowherd here for the synergy, synergy with Tanner. I think we should be able to get enough wood. And there we go. Lumber Pile helps us get enough wood, that's for sure. Okay. Um... Uh, this pile is actually quite garbage. Is the first pick here artichoke field? Or mini pasture? Do I first pick lumber pile here and gamble that artichoke field or mini pasture will come back? don't really like any of these. I think we gamble Lumber Pile comes back. I think that's fine. Hope that Tetstyle doesn't think about using it with South Pole Explorer. I think we could take Mini Pasture here. You know what? Mini Pasture is a start player way to occupy a space. Yeah, first pick Mini Pasture here I think works. It's a way for us to potentially secure South Pole Explorer. Hmm, I think this is probably Ox Team, but I have to think about Clay Roof and Clay Hut Extension. Those cards are very solid, but pretty sure the pick here is Ox Team. We already have ways of holding multiple cattle early. Three fields seems like a good, seems pretty good. Probably means we don't need to play Acrobat, but that's fine. Yeah, passing Clay Roof kind of sucks. And passing Clay Hut Extension. But you know what? If Clay Hut Extension goes around and these guys all grow to four, then at least my nursemaid is giving me, you know, my crops that I need for a lot of points. And animals that I need for points with Tanner. Yeah, so really important for this game, going to be get making a cooking hearth. So that I can eat cattle at four food a pop. And then organized handy bed should give me some incidental food income. And nursemaid, of course, will give me some incidental food. So what's my ideal start? My ideal start is three wood into plow. Then three wood into South Pole Explorer. Because at that point in the game, I should be the only person who could possibly occupy all three at the bottom. Ooh, Scorched Earth is interesting because obviously it works pretty nicely with my game plan. The problem is the timing. I think if I do play it, I'm likely giving up on South Pole Explorer, which is a problem. Diary is fine. Uh, foreign labor, we could go up to a stone house. I don't know if we get the stone that easily, but we could. You know, we're staying on two rooms, so we reno a bit quicker than the others. Um, could just take Whistle here, since we've already planned to build a bunch of, of stables. Yeah, 
Yeah, I like Whistle here. Ox Goad, it would be good if I hadn't just picked up Ox Team. Like with Cowherd and Tanner, obviously I have good reason to go on the cattle space, but I have Ox Team. I have the desire to already plow one field manually. How many fields am I going to want? Extra fields am I going to want to play? Like, I'll probably want to plow so once, so beyond that, eh. So yeah, if uh, you can make this work, this should be a quite strong game. So the play is Ox Team is played by Organized Handyman in round 11. Um, round 9 is maybe Mini Pasture and round 13 still to be determined. Hopefully a minor that gives points. Uh, Whistle we probably want to play on Family Growth. We want to play it earlier. Uh, although maybe we want to play Mini Pasture on Family Growth and then Whistle is played with Organized Handyman. Because we will want places to hold. We want we will want to be able to breed cattle and boar, ideally, for our master tanner. And our tanner. We want to get both of them breeding so that we're feeding up the tanner. We'll see how this goes. I'm interested to see. A uh, miner that helps me play occupations would be nice. Um, like, oh, what miner do I want? I don't think I want farm school. Hmm. Do we take heavy cart here? Don't know if I'm going to do a lot of wood actions, but we could probably take heavy cart. Uh, otherwise, what else would I take? Maybe wild breeding. Probably works with organized handymen. Uh, we're not taking public forest, obviously. We want someone else to play it. I don't think we need corn scoop. I think we're going to get like one or two grain out of our nursemaid. We could take heavy cart here. And then lumber pile came back. So the plan is make three stables, play lumber pile, and then that'll help me fence. And then I can always go back and build more stables later. Or fence and then play lumber pile to build, you know, more stables or something like that. I think lumber pile is good here. It helps me if I don't get enough wood. I build four stables and play lumber pile that plus mini pasture is all the wood I need for fencing for the whole game so then the rest of my wood ox team whistle heavy cart could go into getting st making stables so I would only need to pick up like another 14 15 uh don't really want any of these Dairy supply, maybe. Get a sheep and get a cattle. Yeah, that might be playable. Since I want both of those things. I might I might just want one sheep total this game, and then the cattle might be like a point, for example, depending on how the draft is going. And then here, I think we can take foreign labor. I don't think we're all that likely to go up to a stone house quickly, but in the event that we do, 
Foreign Labor is going to be an excellent card. Um, yeah, like if we can get to Stone in round nine, that's not impossible. Depending on if Failed Growth comes round seven and our Master Tanner is not paying off until later, then maybe round eight, round nine, we focus on renovating up. I don't think we need Ox Goad, and I don't think we have a Tavern game. Although Tavern is point ceiling, so. So we start in second. That's the best position to start in. Self employee for Tet Style. I do not like this card. But if you have like an animal pen or something, maybe it's good. So, like I said, we're going to do three wood. So I think we're planning defense six, like here, and then one field here, and then three, and then maybe one or two more. And then this could be stables later, or it could be... Um, Potentially rooms, depending on how the game goes. Ooh, is Joshi not planning to build a room or to play an occupation? And is now faced with, the, you know, the two non-occupation non actions are gone? Hmm. Maybe Joshi's thinking about two clay into the fireplace right away. If Joshi really wants to get access to that first sheep grab. General Craig's, I draft self employee fifth or sixth over a lot of stuff. Most games you don't get it. Um, yeah, I guess the question is is the one food worth playing that a card that much earlier? That's always the question for me. There's Village Head here for Joshi. Yeah, this card is quite good. Village Head is excellent. I don't think I've ever played self-employee. The problem is, if I was going to play self-employee, I'd have to already know that I was going to... Like, for me to draft it, I'd probably really, really want to play Quarry early for some reason. Or to play uh, Animal Pen early for some reason. It's kind of suspicious, suspicious, but... I mean, Ted Style will know what's up. Hopefully the others don't recognize it right away. This is where um, your field placement can give information to your opponents. Like, if people know that I generally go top middle with my fields, early fields, then it's like, this is a dead giveaway that something's up. I guess I could also go over here beside the house. And then it sells Field Doctor more, but I've already put it here. So, I mean, I'm obviously not selling Field Doctor at all. So three wood into South Pole Explorer is my plan here. Let's double check the text. Can I build the steel? The next player. Okay, so yeah. Not the current player. So definitely have to play it before I build three stables. But I'm the only one who can build three stables, or in these guys' case, they need eight wood to build four stables. So I'm feeling, feeling fine. And just as long as Fiscus does not play an occupation here, that means we get to play an occupation. Now, it, saying that, 
the two occupation spaces are the best spaces remaining on this board by quite a bit. <laughs> oh, there's Lady of the Manor. So funnily enough, um, for those of you watching live, we have had a game where I forgot to put the bands on. So Joshi opened Ratcatcher, and I had Lady of the Manor in that pack. But uh, it came back, even though we had to re redraft. Lady of the Manor came back. So I obviously have a fantastic Lady of the Manor game. Um, yeah, don't need to say too much more than that. Lady of the Manor is going to be just awesome for me. Definitely planning to uh, play it. Uh, so I don't really have anything that I love here. Uh, I could plow another field. Or I could just take the wood. Yeah, if I take wood, then I can build four stables. And building four stables seems nice, because I probably only want to use the um, build room space twice at most. Build stables twice, maybe. Oh, Tetstyle played Well Builder, by the way. Well Builder's a great card. I'm actually surprised it went all the way back to him. Village Head. Village Head could have played Well Builder easily. And gotten the well in like round two. So I'm kind of confused by that. And then Fiscus, I guess, wants to put his stone on Stone Sculptor, but. I don't know. You just need to hit Reed Stone Food twice in stage one, which is something you want to do, anyways. And in fact, with Lady of the Manor, you just need to start player once. And you can one of the start players can be the taking the well. So, not so sure about that play from... Uh... For each sheep in your farmyard, this card can hold a boar or a cattle. Oh, okay, so this is... Um... Joshi playing start player there. Interesting. Very interesting. So we have to be a little careful, the tiniest bit careful about uh, South Pole Explorer now. Fiscus can't get eight wood. Unless he takes two wood into three wood. All right, good. Goes for a two clay, all right. If Joshi is not going to build a fireplace, then F Fiscus is going to pressure him to build the fireplace. Good. Joshi changing his minor now. I don't love this because Fiscus might have taken the two clay based on Joshi's self pasture play, but maybe Joshi figures he's going to throw away. So, yeah, okay, so he is going to play Scorched Earth. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure how to value this card. In this game where my stage one has to be so precise, I think it's clear that I can't play it. But uh, generally speaking, I think the card's. Solid. So if Fiscus takes three wood here, he could three stables into plowing a field to steal the uh, South Pole Explorer. But instead is going to play the well seller before the well can get built. Perfect. All right. That's good. So just as long as Tetstall doesn't play an occupation, and Tetstall probably doesn't want to play on expensive occupation, so we're looking good. Pretty pleased with how things are going. Go ahead and play our South Pole Explorer here.
I guess I could, instead of four stables, also fence eight. So actually, Fiscus blocking the stables would not have worked because I would have just fenced eight. So I do need to pick up food. So traveling players or fishing next round, ideally. Fiscus wants to get on Reedstone food. Might start player here to secure that. And then if he because if yeah if he doesn't start player here then it's pretty likely that Tet style will to build the well. Oh, I guess Fiscus is gonna get stone from his well seller for his stone sculptor, so he doesn't need to actually push it out too hard. Because if Tet style start players and builds the well here, then he just picks up a wood and three stone, which is pretty solid. And actually, might have we might have clay roof in Fiscus' hand. If that's the case, that would be pretty good. So Fiscus has the option to do like start player, clay, roof with his second action in round four and potentially maybe get the uh, get the first room in round five. I'll go ahead and claim the uh, South Pole Explorer here. Alright, so uh, we probably first action for food fishing, I think. Or there's a couple four wood actions. I'd like a four wood action. I'd also like four clay into major into a cooking hearth, but I guess I don't want a cooking hearth until later anyways, so uh, I guess the other thing would be to play reedstone food to think about maybe going up to a stone house for foreign labor. But uh, fishing here seems fine. Get, it, get all our feeding, act, feeding uh, out of the way with one move. So I guess we don't want to take clay here. We'd kind of like to get clay next round. So we'd like six clay ideally, if we could get it. Fiscus. Not sure what Fiscus will do here. Fiscus takes what? Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Because now if Ted Style does not build... Fiscus can start player uh, clay roof to get the room in round five. I could three wood or I could occupation nursemaid. It depends. I guess it depends on who gets the first room. So if Ted style doesn't build a room here, then I can don't have to play nursemaid, but if Tetstyle does build a room here, I might need to play nursemaid. Because if Fisk if round five is family growth and Fiscus start players clay roof, then they might be forced to first action build and then first action family growth. In which case for a maximum nursemaid I would want to play play it here. Yeah. We will see though. What's going on? Ted's still thinking about their action. Deciding whether or not they want to build a room, considering they might get six wood. All right, Ted Stout does build a room. So Fiscus will only start player if they have clay roof and if and they'll only first action build if Joshi takes three wood. Let's try this. We'll go ahead and play nursemaid here, and then feed four. Feed four, breed our cattle.
Joshi does take the wood. Okay, so yeah, we might see Fiscus start player Clay Roof here. So actually, if they start player Clay Roof and round five is family growth, I'm actually pretty happy because that means I'm guaranteed to get six wood because Fiscus will definitely first action build and then Tetstyle will first action family growth. So then I'll get six clay with my first move and I'd be pretty happy to get six clay. If I could get six clay into... Well, I guess I don't like three reed that much because I really, what I really want is reed stone food twice. Well, Fiscus says start player ladder. Hmm. That is nowhere near as good. I was expecting clay roof. So I guess clay roof is in Joshi's hand, maybe. It's Reno. Okay. Well, Fiscus needs to take reed. So reed stone food or three reed. Yeah. And then Tetstyle can take six clay here. Depends on what else is in their hand. They might like three reed to build the basket maker's workshop, but six clay is a great move. I'll take five clay. If Tetstyle takes six, six clay. I can always just build a three clay fireplace and then upgrade it. So yeah, if three reed comes back, I guess I'll take three reed. I really want the stone though. I also want wood. I want wood so that I can start player heavy cart. Because heavy cart actually gets me my second stone right away, which is appealing. Makes the reed stone food space a reed stone food food or reed stone stone food space, and it also makes all my wood actions better. Mm, maybe I should have three taken three wood there to play heavy cart. I don't know. Uh, it's hard to say. So three wood is gone, so best I'm getting is three reed. Tetstyle might, probably will start player. I guess it's possible they don't, but they might not start player. Tetstyle plays Pickler. Okay, I'm actually quite happy to see this. I have a game that will be very happy to compete for the Pickler bonus. So this third read is kind of overkill. Don't really think I'm going to need it. But uh, uh, what it means is that I hope round six is stone and that in round seven I can take uh, take two stone. Maybe after playing heavy cart. Uh, so Joshi does have clay roof and there's stone so family growth comes around seven so that's uh, I think that's pretty good for me since I'm not building a wood room so Joshi probably start players and then Fiscus maybe read stone foods to be able to build two rooms at once And then Tedstyle needs food, maybe takes, uh, but might take four wood first. Four wood and then... Four wood and then three reeds second action, or uh, three food second action on traveling players. So I obviously want to reno. So I think the play is, what's the play here? I'm actually not sure. Oh, Tetstyle's got commercial baker. That's a good one. That's a very good one. 
It still does need one more stone. So are they going to uh, take three grain with their second action? Or are they going to read stone food with their second action to get the extra stone? Or do they have some other way of picking up the extra stone? I wonder. Um, I think I'd probably take three wood here. I would like the three wood to play heavy cart. My second action is going to be Reno. I don't need to read stone food twice. I'd much rather take two stone round seven and Reno. So, yeah. So I think that's my play for the rest of this round. So the only question is, do I fireplace into cooking hearth upgrade or do I fireplace into some other thing like heavy cart, for example? And if I'm going to play heavy cart, I can heavy cart with this move and then take two stone plus a stone next round, have an extra stone in my supply in case, you know, I want to play some stone miner. And then in round eight, so if I do that, then in round eight, I could play organized handyman, place um, foreign labor round nine, then place ox team round 11, and then place uh, lumber pile round 13, or maybe mini pasture. Josh, he's starting to throw away cards for resources, which is handy. Fiscus did not go for the double build. I'm a little surprised by that. All right, so we're going to go ahead and play our heavy cart here. I guess the downside of this play is if someone else builds the three clay fireplace or if Tetstall builds a uh, clay oven, Reno, like they might do Reno plus clay oven. Based on the resources they have in their supply. Joshi plays Public Forest. All right. F from Nursemaid. Well, let's see what happens. I'm interested to see. Pretty, sh pretty sure Fiscus start players. So if Fiscus start players, what does Tetstyle do? That's what I'm interested by. Tetstyle might first action Reno. It's very possible. I'll be annoyed if that's what they do, but it's very possible that they first action Reno. You know what? I'm not even that annoyed if they first action Reno. If they first action Reno, I'll go ahead and play Organized Handyman. Although I do need to take Stone as well. So yes, it actually will be pretty annoying if they do that. Let's watch the play-by-play. -play. They're playing Occupation Baker Servant. Okay. So they definitely want to bake action with their second move. So I'll take two stone plus S. Or, oh, actually no. Uh, I could do read stone food and get an extra food. I should read stone food, get a get an extra food, is what I should do. Um, because I could read stone food. Okay, they're ignoring me. That's fine.
And then maybe that extra read is now worth the basket makers workshop. Yeah, I figured it doesn't affect Joshi. Joshi needs to take food either way. So Ted style might reno clay oven here. See if they try move to reno. They might major minor, they might, they might reno. I think mo mo both make quite a bit of sense. So it, I'm not sure. It'll depend on what Tet style has in hand. Reno is probably the correct move for them, all things considered. So the nice thing about taking this uh, reedstone food instead is that now I can eat one vegetable. Yeah, they are renovating, so that's a shame. So now I can eat one vegetable and um, and do some other action. But I think what I'll do is I will just play the fireplace because I can always reno and then play something else, right? I can always reno and play foreign labor with one move. Or I could take four food traveling players here. That is also an option. Getting the cooking, this seems like, hmm, this f saves me, a, get, has, gives me an extra cattle for later. Is that worth an action on its own? That's kind of a question. Because I might get, I could probably manipulate it so that I get six wood passed to me. Well, no, I'm not going to get six wood passed to me. Ted Style is going to get six wood because Fiscus will first action build. But I would like to take four wood next round. Four wood and then reno. But I'd also like to play organized handyman as well. Do I have time to play organized handyman? If I want to play organized handyman, it has to be next round. Well, it doesn't have to be, but it ideally is next round. It's organized handyman plus reno would be the two moves that I would want to do. Well, I guess I don't have to reno next round. I could reno round nine and play um, foreign labor with my action in round nine. Okay, I guess I like the idea of that. And then eat a cattle. So I build a, the three clay fireplace. So it's not ideal, but this way I get to pick up five wood, which is a pretty nice move. Fiscus plays more pond. Yeah, so I could first move organized handyman. Organized handyman could play what? Whistle, ox team, lumber pile, like that. Make sure I have my fencing done by round 13. Lumber pile frees up a bunch of wood to rebuild. But the thing is, what's the wood for lumber pile going into? I would have to rebuild the stables because I don't want to give up all my animals that I would have at that point. Definitely not. Wow. Well, I got seven wood, so I'm pretty happy about that. And then plus F nursemaid. So yeah, feeling feeling okay about that. That's for sure. Six wood is a good move. So then second action, yeah, it can be organized handyman. I guess I could just play mini pasture around 13. Well, the thing is mini pasture, I already want to have my fencing done at that point. So if I am playing mini pasture at that late, that's pretty. that's a pretty weak mini pasture. Whistle, I would like to play on Family Growth whenever I get Family Growth after Master Tanner. I want to, oh, I want to take two boar next round. Hmm. 
If I'm going to take two boar, I'd like to breed boar and cattle. And in order to be able to do that, I pretty much have to play mini pasture with organized handymen. So, yeah. Although I don't love playing mini pasture this early, just because then it's going to go all the way around the board, put a bunch of extra wood into the game, which I'm not all that happy about. I could play Whistle next round. Uh, so not foreign labor, obviously. Not lumber pile, obviously. So something then... Uh, yeah, maybe just, well, we could do Whistle, Ox Team, Lumber Pile. No. MOL. Yeah, we'll play Mini Pastor. We want to get those boar breeding. Those boar breeding are worth a lot. How many times do I need to take wood for uh, playing heavy cart to be worth it? Like at least three times, right? Because I had to pay two. So even if it even at three heavy cart just becomes a passing one wood card, which is not good. So that's four times I need to take wood. However, I got six wood, so that means I don't need to take wood four times. So heavy cart is kind of insurance against needing to take wood a bunch of times, but when you get past six wood, I guess to be fair, I'm not getting another six wood action. I just won't have the actions to set up the start player into getting it. And I'm not gonna have it fall into my lap again because the family growth queue won't be so tight. Um, Tetstyle has clay hut extension. That's why Tetstyle first action took six clay here. Tetstyle has clay hut extension and is going to pass it to me. So my two moves are going to be two bore into Reno, um, Reno foreign labor. Do I have enough food to do that? I gain... The mini pasture is food neutral because of handyman. I'm going to need to eat a cattle. I'm going to get a f Yeah, I just have enough. I get a food because of nursemaid from Ted style growing. All right. Ooh, unicycle driver. When's the last time we saw this card played? It's been a while. Been a while. Thing is, yeah, I don't really, I mean, the fencing space is not a good space and being able to use your wood faster is great. Was it worth the unicycle driver action? Mm, not so sure about that. Oh, imp. Uh, Fiscus looks like his uh, feeding is not that great. First action takes six.
So it looks like I get the two boar, which I'm pretty happy about. So then all I need to do is breed boar and cattle and be able to hold on to them until I play Master Tanner. Which I can definitely do. Baker's Kitchen. I guess with Lumber Pile, I don't actually have to return any state. Oh, I can only return up to three stables. So I actually can't return all of them. So I can just play this for free and have it have no effect and get two food. So that's interesting. Ted Style playing Baker's Kitchen. Is this going to be on Start Player? Because if it's on Start Player, definitely they're going to Family Growth Clay Hut Extension. And then that means in round 10, my um, nursemaid will trigger for a good, which means I can take a grain or a vegetable. Taking a vegetable looks pretty good considering Pickler is out in the game. And there is Gardener out there. So if I want to hit Pickler, I'm going to have to have a pretty big Pickler game. Yep. Definitely. All right, Baker's Kitchen. So we know what uh, Tetstyle's second move will be. Our Reno action is safe, so we'll take two boar here. So then we're looking at growing in round 11 is the plan is the plan play master tanner although we'd like we would like to sow in round 11 as well because we're going to play ox team at the start of round 11 so getting a sow action in round 11 would be nice um Ideally, best case scenario, Joshi or Fiscus grow again, triggers Nursemaid getting a grain, so then I can sow a grain and two vegetables. That would be really good if I could make that happen. And I probably can. I also want to get my tanner out at some point because I am only going to eat so many boar. So maybe play tanner round 10 and then play master tanner round 11. There's the clay hut extension as we expected. F. So we get a guest in the remaining even numbered round spaces. So there's our foreign labor. And then we feed a food and a boar, or feed a food and a cattle, and breed both. Yeah, so on Family Growth, whenever it comes, I'll play Whistle and then maybe start player Dairy Supply at some point. Or start player Whistle and play Dairy Supply on Family Growth, depending on what the board state is. Because if you ever can get sheep and cat and uh, cattle out of Dairy Supply, then that's quite a good card.
Game's been a little s slow. Yeah, I'm the fastest player by quite a bit. Ted Style and Joshi being quite slow. Well, a little slow, not atrociously, but... Animal Breeder. Okay. I'm a little confused that he did decide to play Scorched Earth because um, what Scorched Earth is now doing is putting a huge up upfront cost to fencing that you have to pay upfront. Now, I guess maybe he figures there's a bit of a combo there, but ideally you'd be like, you'd like to get different kinds of animals. So I don't love playing Scorched Earth with Animal Breeder. Because, you know, you really want to be able to get the animals to breed and not just have to immediately eat them. So, like here, he jumps to fence. Five food for two cattle and scorched. Yeah. And so he has two, and so he needs more food still. I don't know. And he's going to eat two sheep. Okay. So Tetzdal does not have to first action family growth because nobody else built a room last round. So I have three rooms. Or I have three moves. One of them will be to take... Uh, Yeah, Joshi can't pasture around his stable because of animal breeders text. What's Joshi going to link here? Sheep defense. Okay. So he's either going to take three wood or take sh three sheep and then jump to fence. Style going for the four wood. Yep. Um, three sheep or three wood. I think I do. I need the food. I might need the food. I might need the food. Passing the wood kind of stinks, but I might need the food. I do need to take wood, start taking wood more aggressively. So second action, Tanner. Third action. Third action could even be taking grain or taking vegetable. And then I would play Master Tanner in round 12 and Family Growth in round 12. And the thing is, in round by the time round 12 comes around, maybe I get Family Growth even without room, or maybe my opponents trigger it and give me another vegetable or another grain or something. Actually, yeah, taking grain just seems really bad because I can always just delay a Family Growth action to get, to get grain off of my nursemaid. That is, a, a, but to be fair, that's assuming someone's going to build a room next round, which is Fiscus, is Fiscus going to grow next round? Well, either way, we'll Tanner with this move.
Ted style, can I take vegetable instead of reed stone food? Sure. Thinking about getting a sow action next round. They're going to have to first action sow if they want to sow ahead of me. I wonder if I start player into sow. Because I would like to sow ahead of Tet style. Start player whistle into Tet style. Or start player whistle in, into Tet style. Start player whistle into sow. Viscous is doing start player. No longer an option. Okay. It's actually crazy how many of the major improvements are still available. Fiscus has totally ignored them because of his stone sculptor. Ted Style's got stone axe. All right. Well, I don't like this move, but I think this move is take rain. Although I could take stone here to build the basket maker's workshop. Although the Basket Maker's Workshop seems pretty low priority compared to guaranteeing myself another Lady of the Manor category. I should be going for all the Lady of the Manor, Manor categories that I can. So I'll go ahead and take a green here. Or a grain. Green, take a grain. Uh, plus V uh, made on FG. Joshi says, oh man, I'm an idiot. What's he talking about? Yeah, I think it's probably a little late. This is going to build the clay oven. All right. Well, Ted Style. Ted Style does really want three stone. Three stone is worth a lot to Ted Style next round because it lets it means they can start player stone oven at some point, which is a fantastic action for this late in the game. And if Joshi keeps paying his stone to his unicycle driver, and if Fiscus keeps paying his stone to his stone sculptor, you know, seems good. I might, uh, if I have some extra actions, I could always read, read Stone Stone Food into Basket Maker's Workshop. Be two actions for two points and some amount of food. But with five read here, you got to think at some point it's getting grabbed. Go ahead and announce my ox team. Good card. So I'm ready to first action so if they give me that option. If 
Viscous plays. Occupation hedge master. Okay. Getting a wood from diary. Yeah, so we are going to first action, so. Which actually works out quite nicely. Looks good. And then second action, Master Tanner or Three Wood. I think those are our two good options. Or maybe the stone. I guess if I took the stone, that represents maybe two major improvements. But the thing is, I do still need wood. So I probably should focus on getting enough wood. Joshi might start player mini pasture here. Start player is nice going into round 12. Mini pasture, obviously great card for him with animal breeder. Yeah, there it is. Not too surprising. Two a net three food. Um, you still have to. Net three food doesn't make sense to me. Because mini pasture costs two food. It should only be net plus one food. Uh, oh, the three wood came back, so we'll take the wood. Passing around these two boar and two cattle is kind of painful, but we're looking, our sights are set higher than that. We're looking to make big, uh, big plays around, around Lady of the Manor. So round 12, we're de we will master Tanner and then family growth in round 12, and we can play Whistle, maybe Dairy Supply, depending on what's available. He gets two cattle back, which is quite nice because he does need a lot of food. So he can only fence one more time, Joshi, because he's put two fences out on the board. Four, six, nine, twelve, yeah. So he can only fence this little thing there, yeah. I don't think Unicycle Driver was good in the game with uh, Lady of the Manor being out. I think Unicycle Driver is a trap card. Be nice if someone else could family growth so that I could get Cowherd. So actually if, if round 12 could be family growth that would be nice because then I'll pick up another grain. And then it'll be really easy for me to max grain. Tet style playing. Animal trap. Man, Tet style had a pretty greedy game, I have to say. Taking animal trap with um, commercial baker in hand. If they can make everything work, awesome. But if they can't, ooh, it's going to be no bueno.
Looks like no family growth here. Feed four. Eat one. Oh. Oh, it's only two food, not three food. Sorry. And then harvest. Oh, beautiful. So I'll pick up a grain. Plus a grain from nursemaid. So now I really like Plowso. I really like Plowso in round 14, actually. That's when I really want Plowso. So let's hope that Tet style start players here to get Plowso round 13. That would make me happy. Oh, I need to mark my boar on Tanner. So I'll put one like that and then what's another marker I could use? J. Flame is J or flame is number of cattle. I could just plow manually and get a sow action later, but that's kind of boring. Um, I need, I still need more wood, right? I do need more wood still. So we can take four wood here. Yep, so that's all our wood for the rest of the game. So we won't return anything with lumber pile. But we have enough to fence 11 now and then also play whistle. So we didn't need as much wood as we just grabbed, but. Joshi might take two sheep, jump to fence. Possible. Don't know how likely it is. Fishing's not going to get taken, though. But getting a cattle out of dairy supply is worth playing. I also need to get my fencing done. Fortunately, Joshi has almost completely done his fencing, so I should be able to get fence next round. And to be fair, eating the animals are fine considering I have Tanner in hand, so. Ted Style's got pumpkin trellis. Oh, this card is so good. He gets defense 10 here. Yeah, this card is extremely good. He got some he got some amazing cards. Holy crap. I don't know if Joshi drafted all that. I mean, Joshi probably maybe drafted fine, but Well Builder, Pickler, Commercial Baker, Baker Servant, Pumpkin Trellis. Those are some great cards. Some really great cards. Also, Ted style start player. So we're going to first section start player next round. That's the plan. So we'll go ahead and play our Master Tanner. And then family growth with our last move.
I should keep Tanner up just so I can keep an eye on how many points I want to get to. So I want to hit four cattle. I definitely want max points for eating cattle. Discarding green speculator for a stone. Sure. Yeah, green speculator is a good card. So maybe Joshy drafted fine. Maybe it was just that his first pack was pretty crazy, so he had to pass some good stuff. Maybe he didn't have much of a choice. Uh, okay, so eat two cattle. Oh, and we're not playing whistle. What am I doing? We're playing dairy supply. Eat 2A, 2F, 2MT. And then play Dairy Supply. Get a cattle. And then we just ate two cattle, so two cattle markers on there. Looks good. So use my master tanner to family growth here and then play dairy supply. Getting myself a cattle. I wonder if Joshi realized he can't do two fe two fences here because of the fences on the board for unicycle driver. So I'm not sure if Tetstal will Tetstal doesn't really like plow so. Tetstal might two cattle, but I think they're probably gonna just family growth. Unless they start player again. If they start player again, then that's a bit of a problem for us. So for my boar, I want to hit two or four for boar. I'm at one right now, and if I eat one in each remaining harvest, that's three. So if I get an opportunity to take a boar from nursemaid, I'll do that. My cattle, I'm at two cattle, so each additional cattle I eat is worth one point. So I breed up to four, round 13, play lumber pile. Definitely going to eat one more boar, and then I could breed. I want to end with three boar. I probably want to end with four cattle. So four cattle means I can only really eat one more. So nursemaid is going to be valuable either way. Uh, so we'll go plus a plus O nursemaid. Sure, we'll go that way. Eat it. Tanner one on there. And then we're not going to plow so here. We're going to start player whistle. And plow so next round. Ooh, Lady of the Manor. Oh, Joshy.
Yeah, Josh is not paying any attention. Uh, okay, um, how many pickler grain am I going, or pickler animals am I going for? I guess it doesn't matter because I'm going to fence with this action, but if plow comes back, I'm wondering if I should plow. Oh, you know what? I didn't need defense there. That was a bad move. That fence should have been a plow action. What am I doing? Oh, I played Whistle and then Whistle's worth nothing because of the stables are all past uh, fenced in. Oh well, I have a sheep anyways, so getting this extra sheep are not worth that much. Joshy building the basket makers workshop. After Tetstyle took eight reed. <laughs> Uh, that's funny. <laughs> and he discarded peasant too. Oh man, he would have liked to have played peasant and have three extra fields here. <laughs> uh, that style might plow here. I should have plowed and then fenced. I'm not thinking, I'm not playing well either. So those two read were useless. You just like those drivers not so great a card. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, looks like we get plow here. This plow is only really good for hitting the pickler. Now, the thing is, I'm pretty sure someone's got gardener. So, I think this plow is okay because it does help me hit the pickler. Yeah. Yeah. Feed six. Breed. Breed. Josh had house steward too. <laughs> oh man. Josh had a good hand, but uh yeah, I think playing Scorched Earth was a mistake. Should have gone for the first family growth with Clay Roof. I guess he wanted that first fireplace quite a bit.
I should harvest, I guess. I mean, Joshi could discard twice for village head. But Gardener, as expected. So the only question is how much, uh, how many vegetables does he eat? So he can get up to eight vegetables at the end of the game. If I sow four vegetables, I can get up to eight. I'm going to sow three. All right, grab our guest and do a big plow sow here. Big plow sow. That, that guarantees me the Lady of the Banner bonus. So now we're just trying to get Pickler. I'm pretty sure if we get the Pickler bonus, we win. I don't see how we lose with Lady of the Manor and Pickler. The question is, if someone takes a vegetable, should I take a cattle or should I take a boar or should I take a vegetable? Tetstyle will first action so bake if it comes around to them. Joshi, who knows what Joshi will do. Joshi could first action Reno here. Take sheep with their first move. Yikes. Well, Fiscus might family growth, and if Fiscus family growth, I think it's pretty clear Tet style will will so bake. No, Fiscus is plowing, okay. I do like the idea of comboing Village Head with Unicycle Driver. I would have done it earlier, though. Because the advantage of Unicycle Driver can be really big in, in Stage 1. Like, if you're... Like, you could have... He could have linked Grain and Field in Stage 1. Play Village Head round 
one, play Unicycle Driver round two. And then you've got Pseudo Field Watchman. Okay, so it looks like Pickler's out of reach. So we'll take our three point uh, family growth action. Seems fine. Might only be two points because I'm giving up on a nursemaid good, but uh, can't be too bad. So we could take two stone and build the joinery for two points. We could take one cattle, one boar. I guess we wouldn't take two stone. We would take reed stone food food. No, that doesn't seem good. Major miner's gone anyways. Joshi just built the pottery. Okay. That style will red and do something. Probably takes boar with this move. Oh, he baked. He baked tw twice. That's why he has 12 food. So, 6, 7 is going up to 10 vegetables. So, yeah, there's no competing with that for me. And, yeah, there's really not a lot to do here. Taking boar, I guess. Yeah, because there's no uh, major improvement action available to me. I'm not sure if that boar is worth any points. What do I need to feed? I need to feed seven. So eating the two cattle seems good because each cattle is worth a point directly. I think I'm doing well. I didn't hit the pickler bonus, but for Tetstyle to hit the pickler bonus, they had to give up a lot of other points, so might be enough to win. Two room stone house versus four room stone house is not good, and Tetstyle has an extra family member, and they've got some more points from their well and their baker's kitchen. Yeah, Tetstyle might have it. I didn't have enough uh, points at the end of the game, it looks like. So, uh, we're certainly eating at least one cattle and at least one boar. And if we're eating a boar, we may as well eat two boar, is kind of the feeling that I have. Or eat... Not two boar, sorry. Could eat three boar, but three boar is not an extra point. Uh, so we, if we eat a cattle, that's three food, and then we eat a boar, that's two food. So yeah, eat a cattle and a boar. So then we're left with three points on our um, tanner. A-O, two food. 
And then I got a three point Lady of the Manor. Man, I can't believe I didn't get Gardner. Or I didn't get Pickler. Ah, that sucks. No Pickler. Nine wood was passed multiple times. <laughs> uh, that's crazy. Yeah, so uh, 50 here for me. And it's probably not enough. Might be a tie. Ted Style's got 46 plus 5. Yeah, 51. Yep. Ted Style wins. Lose to Ted Style by one point, unfortunately. Feel like we kind of lost to the draft a little bit. Ted Style's cards are just too good. Like, I don't know how he got Pickler and Commercial Baker and Baker Servant and Gardner. You, I mean, he may have first pick uh, Pickler. I feel like this is a game we lost to Joshi and Fiskus just playing really atrociously. Like, I feel like that's kind of what we lost on. Is, uh, these guys just didn't compete. And because they didn't compete, and I didn't compete, that just let Tetstyle do a little bit of everything. So that, that kind of sucks. Sucks when that happens. Like, Joshi ends with, like, not using the field space enough times. Like, here's the thing. Um, Ted style, you know, probably should not have ended with as much wood as they did because Joshy needed more wood and Fiscus should have been going for stables with Lady of the Manor. The problem is these two, they capped their scores really low. And because they capped their scores so low, it just let Ted style beat me just barely on efficiently on efficiency just barely like holy crap i score a 50.2 room farm and it's not enough to win ah that's a shame That is a shame. Feel like we should have won that one. I guess we had no points. Did we have no points at the in our last two moves? So I should have maybe swung for the fences and gone. I could have tried to build a stone room. For example, with uh, with heavy cart, I might have been able to pull off a stone room. Yeah, we just didn't have enough points. Take a look at the draft. So first pick organized handyman. So green speculator is better, cheapskate's better, stone sculptor is better, clay delivery man is better. Acrobat's picked higher, but it's not better. Um 
I don't know. I don't feel like passing any of these really did that much for my opponents. I was really just thinking, what am I going to get back and trying to build my game around that. Now, Stone Sculptor would have been a good point ceiling card if I had been able to predict that I was going to do a two-room house, but I wasn't able to predict that. South Pole Explorer is definitely overvalued. Uh, power 1.9 for where it's drafted, and Village Head is definitely undervalued. Drafted almost 5th, power 3.9. Like, this card is really good. But I, f I saw Organized Handyman and thought South Pole Explorer, okay, maybe we can do, like, a small house, thinking I'm going to get Gardener or... Or, sorry, Rancher or Tanner back, thinking I'll have a really nice game if I do that. Which I did, and then I got Master Tanner, which was quite nice. How how did Well Builder get all the way back? Like, this is this is kind of a joke. This is kind of a joke that Well Builder got all the way back here. So I, I kind of feel like we lost to that a little bit. The Nursemaid here. These cards weren't relevant for Tet Style. Took Acrobat, Cheapskate. I should value Cheapskate higher, maybe. I thought Acrobat for some incidental plowing and grain. Not knowing that I was going to get um, Tanner here. Maybe I should have taken Rancher, but there was plenty of wood in the game, so I feel kind of justified about Tanner. So first pick, uh, Mini Pasture here. I think that looks like a pretty good pick. I guess my piles were honestly not that good. Did I ever draft something picked ahead of three? Like Grain Speculator I could have taken. But all these cards are drafted third or later. So I guess my cards were not particularly strong. I didn't really get any first picks. Like look at this pick. Look at the average draft position. So I took Ox Team here over Clay. Okay, there we go. Ox Team I took at 2.88. Just under 3. <laughs> uh... So I passed Clay Roof. I think at this point the Ox team was a pretty good move. I don't know. I took Whistle here. Foreign Labor ended up coming back, which was kind of hilarious. I think Whistle's good. I'm surprised it's drafted so low. Sheep per Harvest for a pretty easy prereq is quite nice. Took Heavy Cart here. Did not want Public Forest with South Pole Explorer. If anything, I wanted someone else to spend their three wood early. Yeah, none of these were really relevant. Lumber Pile. Yeah. Yeah, like none of these cards were super relevant. Like they didn't have a big impact. And I guess because the cards are just not that good. So they didn't have that. That's kind of why they didn't have much of an impact. Let's look at Tet style. First pick, Commercial Baker. Second pick, Baker Servant. Yeah, some good cards. Baker Servant was maybe the best card in the draft. Then third pick, Pickler. Then took Clay Delivery Man here. Then got Gardner after having played Pickler. Then got Well Builder. F yeah, just got some kind of ridiculous cards. And then Pumpkin Trellis. Yeah, a Pumpkin Trellis was the best card in the game, I should say. And it's not really close. And then took Animal Trap here. That's interesting. I probably would not have. I don't know if I'd have taken. Well, I guess he's got uh, Well Builder already. So, yeah. Pretty reliably hit Animal Trap. Baker's Kitchen is an interesting pick here. I guess he's got Commercial Baker. So, yeah, makes the feeding quite easy. Then got Clay Hut Extension, Power 3.7. Oh, man. Sometimes you just lose because your opponent's draft. Not great. So first pick, Animal Breeder. Sure. Second pick, Grain Speculator. Sure. Then Village Head. I like Village Head. It's a good card. Then House Steward. Fine. Then Peasant. So at this point, you're getting a little ambitious to play all of these cards, but that's fine. Maybe Ram Wrangler, I would have thought about with Animal Breeder. But you've already got Grain Speculator, so maybe you don't need it. Cheapskate, sure. So that seems fine. First pick's Bounty here. And then Self Pasture. So I think Self Pasture is not a great pick. I probably would have taken Artichoke Field. But maybe Self Pasture, if you're going for early animal, is defensible. And took Clay Roof here. Yeah, so Clay Roof had a Clay had extension. Yeah, so maybe this draft was fine. 
Yeah, Joshi's draft seems fine. This is the other player, Fiscus. Maybe maybe we lost to not sitting after Fiscus. So Okay, Hedgemaster here. Hedgemaster is great. Uh Lady of the Manor with this pick. Yeah, it makes sense. You've see, now seen Pickler. I think we're going to say that not taking Gardner was indefensible considering you have Lady of the Manor and you pass Pickler. Took Stone Sculptor here. Yeah, that's fine. So took Well Seller here. So has passed. No, they've passed Well Builder. Took Well Seller here with Stone Sculptor in hand. So it does feed the Stone Sculptor, but how do you not take Gardner here? You've passed Pickler, you have Lady of the Manor in hand. I think that's pretty indefensible. And then passes Well Builder to take Slut and Farmer. Oh. <laughs> Okay, I think we pretty much just lost to this decision here, basically. And then he double downed, double downed incorrectly by taking Sun Farmer and passing Well Builder again. And then those weren't relevant. Then first pick More Pond, fine. Then Ladder, fine. Artichoke Field, fine. Flamingo Lake here over Clay Hut Extension, not what I would have done, but it might be fine. I mean, clay hut extension is great. I think you probably should take clay hut extension there, but uh, yeah, I just yeah, I guess I feel like we kind of lost to the f six pick well builder. That's a shame. Would have liked to have won that one because I thought it was a pretty cool game. Yeah, so what did I get? I got one point, two points from Cattle, three points from Cattle and two from Tanner, and then three points from Boar and one from Tanner. So the Tanner wasn't great, actually. Well, the, re the big thing was I didn't need that much food. So because I didn't need that much food, then I was able to really go late. Thing is, if Whistle is worth one point, or if... Um, the stable card, the return stables is worth one point. Either of those things is worth one point, I tie for the win. And then if they're each worth half a point, I tie for the win. And those two cards were useless. So, yeah. I think I got hurt by that a little bit. I didn't have cards that were worth points at the end of the game. All right. Well, thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed this little video. Uh, I'm going to do another. I'll stream another game. Um, maybe see if uh, Nathan wants to play. Uh, I need to go have something to eat though first. So I'm going to... I'll leave the stream up. I'll be back in a little while. Uh, so yeah, if you're watching live, um, I'll take the stream down and then bring it back up in like 30 seconds. If you're watching on YouTube... Thanks very much for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed this little video. And uh, we'll see you next time.